embedded system design is a kind of controller based uh, training program basically uh, nowadays to make the things automated we introduce controllers in our uh, day to day basis products uh, it makes the product more easier and uh, give more facilities and handles more most of the background things so we handle the product very efficiently this is our uh, demonstration embedded uh, kit uh, basically embedded uh, deals with various controllers here uh, this kit uh, in contain hcs 12 ml controller whose derivative is mc9s12dp256b to uh, to run this uh, board we have to install some uh, drivers and uh, some softwares inside our pc this is our hcs 12 ml embedded kit this kit uh, include some breadboard so we insert some ic's and make some interfacing there are various uh, interfacing sections built in this uh, kit this is the keypad section this is uh, our zigbee section uh, this is a a to d uh, potentiometer we uh, use this uh, a to d this potentiometer in the application of a to d conversion and uh, there is lcd there is a seven segment there is some leds there is some keypads there is some uh, fixed uh, kind of uh, keys available and uh, pwm available here uh, there is uh, some uh, reset reset and uh, serial port communications communication power enhancement cables and uh, this is all about the kit to burn our uh, main program in our embedded kit we required some software uh, this is hcs 12 family for hcs 12 family there is a program of uh, burning burning program which is a code warrior development studio ide i open this software and browse for our code after making and compiling the entire code we choose hcs12 serial monitor after this i start my program because it is a kind of simulation type uh, thing so uh, we start the program we start here after starting here our program is activated on the board here i transfer the atd code atd stands for analog to digital conversion we change the analog signal using this potentiometer and uh, see the result on the leds now let's see here it is clear that when i rotate the potentiometer and vary the analog signal the digital value of analog signal is changes and it clearly shows on the led here we see the analog to digital conversion application on the embedded boards embedded board and how the microcontroller helps to generate this analog to digital conversion basically this application is very useful in uh, in some products like ac in uh, ac where the temperature is measured temperature is a analog quantity and to that analog temperature quantity we have to make some decisions controller helps helps to uh, decide whether uh, the system is going on and or off so here the controller helps by means of analog to digital conversion controller helps to switching out the devices inside the ac